you have to be persistent with going out on the highways and hedges. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Racha Kodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bashom Yahweh Shai. The inspiration of this video comes from a statement that Apostle Gabar made in his video when he was um, getting on the quash. He said that you have to be consistent with going out on the highways and hedges. And, um, you know, I, I agree with that, you know, because there's a lot of, there's some people out there who don't have internet, you know. You no, know, there's some people who could be homeless who might run run into your camp, you know, and, and see you teaching out there, and they might hear the word of the Lord and and, and come repent, you know. So you you know we don't know who the elect is, but you know now you start to get the gravity and the 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 the, the severity of going out on the highways and hedges, you know. So you got to be persistent with going out on the highways and hedges. Now, if we look up this word persistent. Persistence. Or persistence. It says firm. If you're firm about something, you're not going to change your mind on it. You're going to stick with it. It says or obstinate continuance in a course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition. You know? Yeah, you know, it, it's hard going out there and teaching in the winter time, but we have to do it, man. Okay, it, it's called ice fishing. Now, if we come over here to the book of John, chapter four, verse thirty-one, it says, "In the, uh, it says, in the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat." But Yahweh said unto his disciples, "I have meat to eat <clears throat> that ye know not of." Okay, therefore the disciples, one to another, have any man brought him ought to eat? Okay, Yahweh saith unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and finish and to finish his work. And Yahweh succeeded in finishing his father's work. So now let's go to Luke. Chapter 19, verse 47. Okay. So it says, well, let's, let's go up here. Okay, so I'm going to start up here. And Yahweh went into the temple and began to cast out them that sold therein and them that bought, saying unto them, It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. And Yahweh taught daily in the temple. But the chief priests and the scribes and the chief of the people sought to destroy him. Let's look this up in a different version of the scriptures. Okay. Okay, it says, And Yahweh was teaching daily in the temple. Okay. Let's go to the NLT. Okay. It says, after that, he taught daily in the temple. But the leading priests, the teachers, the religious law, and the other leaders of the people began planning how to kill him. <laughs> Man, our people are some real savages. All right, um, ooh, check this out. Every day he was teaching in the temple. You know what that means? That means you got to do videos every day. And notice how it said videos. So it's got to be more than one video, right? 
we should be doing videos every day you know okay here it says every day he was teaching at the temple okay so yeah how was I set the example for how we should be in this truth um, let's go back to the KJV go ahead hit go and then let's look up this word daily let's see daily daily what is that kata let's go ahead and play this Strong's G 2596 kata kata All right, so let's see what the definition is down here. Okay, they don't really give you too many good definitions. Okay, daily. Let me see. Um, daily down down with which let me see concerning pertaining. Um, let me see. All right, so I mean that's pretty much it. You know, hopefully the point has been made. Lord's will, your brothers were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. It's on to the next one.